Okay, so what do you think is the fastest accelerator on the planet? A rocket? A jet fighter? A missile? Nope. Thanks to the latest in high-speed cameras, we now know it's something else entirely. And it's found right here in the British countryside. The fastest living thing on the planet is in this field right now. No, it's not some supersonic species of falcon or a cheetah. We're in Herefordshire, they don't have them here anyway. It's not those two either, though it has got something to do with them. What it is, is right here. It's down, it's, it's smaller, it's down, it's, it's, it's right here. Yeah, this. Well, not actually this, but this horse poo is home to hundreds of tiny fungi, and it is literally the speediest thing on the planet. In there. Well, not exactly the fungi themselves, but their spores. Here they are, just starting to appear now. Now, when these grow up, they will be capable of feats of acceleration that the mind can barely comprehend. These little beauties, Pylobolus, can do naught to 20 in two millionths of a second and pull 20,000 G, which is a lot. Astronauts on a space shuttle have to cope with four. Get anything past 5 G, pretty much, and people start passing out. Now watch the spores. They're the black bits on the top. At normal speed, they seem to simply vanish. Because they have one of the speediest liftoffs on the planet. It's so fast that it's invisible. It's only recently, with the development of ultra-high-speed cameras, that we've had any idea of the incredible high-speed performers hidden in humble horse poo. Slowed down 10,000 times, we can see them hurtling through the air. It's so fast, it's like us being catapulted to 100 times the speed of sound. All of which begs the question, why? Why does a fungi that lives in poo need to be the speediest thing on the planet? Why? Well, for our fungal family to survive, their spores need to get gobbled up by a friendly grass eater. This horse, for example. But he won't eat grass from an area around any pile of poo, known, rather charmingly, as the zone of repugnance, which it kind of is. So the fungus has to launch spores beyond that, which means clearing over two meters. But there's a problem. The air's too thick. You see, the smaller you are, then, relatively speaking, the thicker the air gets. Imagine this coin were a tiny pylobolus spore. There it goes. But to the tiny spore, the air is thick, like honey. And would stop it in its tracks. The only solution is to go fast enough to power through the thick air into the fresh, poo-free grass beyond. And that's exactly what the fungal spores do. Underneath each tiny head, an explosive bubble of liquid pressure builds up until finally it bursts. Launching the spore at its tip more than two meters away. 